Hi everyone, as soon as I started my car, the engine line came up and it felt like engine works differently and as soon as that engine line came up, so I decided to check what's wrong, so I'm going through the fault codes and it came up with 0303 and it says cylinder 3 misfire. So to resolve this issue, I decided to change the spark plugs and coil pack. Okay, I'm just removing the cover. For this job you're gonna need a star bit, which is DX40. Just to unscrew it, screw it anti-clockwise. All it just needs to move is those two screws and the plug on the right side. It might be a bit tricky, but you just need to push it down and it's gonna come up. Now I'm just gonna remove those two bolts. They shouldn't be too tight, so it should come up quite easily. Put those two screws somewhere away, just make sure you're not gonna lose them, because you're gonna need them later on. And now just pull out the coil pack. It should come up quite easily, if not just move a bit to the sides and it's gonna come up. As you can see it doesn't look too good, it looks a bit brown. So I can take the spark plugs out right now. So I'm gonna unscrew the first uh, spark plug. The socket you need is uh, 16 millimeters. Let's start with the first one, so basically just anti-clockwise. It shouldn't be too tight. Just take the spark plug out. As you can see my spark plug doesn't look good. It's been a while since I changed it last time. gonna put this old one on the side gonna take out the new spark plug so here you can see the difference between the new one and old one as you can see the old one is in pretty bad condition so it's about time to change it Gonna insert now your spark plug and just make it just gonna tighten up, but of course not too tight. The first one is tightened up. Now it's time to move on to the second spark plug. This power plug doesn't look too bad as I changed it recently. Just gonna insert the new one. Gonna insert the second spark plug and just tack it up exactly the same as the first one.
So moving on to the third one, so basically exactly the same as earlier, just un unscrew it and take it out. So the third spark plug is not looking good as well. See how looks the new one versus old one. So inserting the third one and just pick it up. And it's time to move on to the last spark plug. So just update. So just taking out the last bar plug, which is not looking good as well. So inserting the last spark plug and just tightening up. So all spark plugs has been replaced so just going over and making sure they are tight enough. Of course make sure you're not gonna over tight. The third one needs just a little bit more and that's it. And the last one is okay. So just gonna insert new coil pack, which probably caused the misfiring. As you can see, the old one has brown color on what on one of the ends. So just going to insert the coil pack. Just make sure the connector is on the right side, as you're gonna need to plug it in. Just push it in until it fits properly and doesn't move anymore. Just making sure it stays in the place. Now just plug this one back into its place. As you can see, so pushing down, it lifts one side. So just push it down and push it in. Push it until you're gonna hear the clip sound. So then you're gonna know it's like secured. Now just take those two screws from earlier, insert them and just tighten them up using the X40 bit. Just making sure it's tight enough. Of course, do not over tight. Seems all good. Now just put the plastic cover back. So I got back in in my car to clear the code so I'm on my phone again and just gonna go to fault codes and clear locked faults and hit OK it usually displays the message that errors has been cleaned but this time it hasn't so I gonna check again if 
ECU shows any errors and it displays that no errors found. So as you can see the engine light is gone now and the engine works fine. I've been driving now for the last 5 days and there was no problems at all now. Please subscribe my channel and thanks for watching.